with the coil bracelet, um, which is our last rosary option of the day, and everything else has sold out completely. So. Solvar, which is your family's business, it Marcus, is. truly came to QVC in the early days. We've been here now, 35th annual St. Patrick's Day celebration, and we were getting together um, on Friday. We got a chance to look at all the old photos and it videos. Is. We got a chance to get together again because it literally has been five years since we were all together live on the air. So what a special day, and we're so glad you've been with us as well. Uh, but this is brand new. The price is going up at the end of the day. This is the Aventurine and Marcusite ring. And Aventurine is known for a couple things. One is tranquility and patience. But I read the other day when I was getting ready for Gem Day that it's, it, it's for um, helping with your dreams. So if you are a dreamer, and I know I have several of them in my family, this is the stone for dreamers. And it's absolutely beautiful. So Marcus, can you tell us a bit of your family story of Solvar, which I, is in Ireland? I sure can. So our business has been, uh, it's now 84 years old. Wow. And it was started by my grandparents, my grandfather, my grandfather. And uh, they started, first of all, by stringing pearls. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather was actually on holiday down in Killarney and he saw that there was tourists in the country, tourists visiting Ireland, and he thought, you know what, I gotta make some Celtic Irish jewelry for them. How and smart. that's how Salvar started 84 years ago. Wow, now. and yeah. you're based in Dublin? Based in Dublin, myself and my sister now are in the business. Uh -huh. And I'm in char charge of all the product designing and manufacturing and everything, all the products. Well, you hit it out of the park with this one. Um, this is me wearing it. It comes in sizes five through 11. It is on sale until the end of the day, which is now 44 minutes away. And a new day is dawning with a brand new value of the day. Marcus, can you explain like why you chose this stone? And it's really one of the most, I think, dramatic Irish pieces that we've seen. It is. Well, like we chose Green Aventuring for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a beautiful stone. It's a crystal. And like you said, it has many meanings. But one of the meanings that I was researched on was luck. People carry, certain people carry around Aventuring stones in their pockets to bring them. They feel like they're luckier with the, with the stone close uh -huh. to them. So we thought, why not put the stone, the Green Aventuring, in a piece of jewelry and instead of keeping it in your pocket, you can wear it on your hands. And it's a beautiful stone. It like, is. You really get to see the depth and the beauty of this. And we call it the 40 shades of green. So, so often when we think about Irish jewelry and we think about gems, it's only emerald or simulated emerald. And I love that here at QVC, throughout these 35 years, we've expanded into so many other beautiful green stones. And then Marcusite has always been one of my favorites. I don't think we do enough of it at QVC, but you were saying it's a very traditional uh, material to use in Irish jewelry. It is very traditional. Like if we look back over the years of Solver, we've made so many Marcusite pieces and that really comes back from, it's been used in jewelry for millennia, but my grandparents, my grandmother was a big lover of Marcusite. And when we look at some of the jewelry that she's left, my mother and now my sister, right. there's so many Marcusite pieces and it's now really come back into fashion this year. And by using the Marcusite, it's almost like a halo around the Venturing. It's, they're, they're shimmering and shining, but it makes that green Venturing really yeah. stand out and stand above the Marcusites. And as you can see, it is a, an absolute gorgeous piece. I mean, this is a bold cabochon. This is not, it is. you know, we were talking with Peyton Kelly, our gem expert the other day, and he was like, a lot of people will cut cabochons thin in order to still give you the size. But you can see it is truly through and through beautifully done. Look at the dome on that gorgeous piece of aventurine. And then, you know, we, we've had beautiful clottas. By the way, if you want any of our Irish jewelry or Irish goods, a lot of the sale prices are going up in 40 minutes. So highly recommend going to QVC.com while everything's on five easy payments until our, you know, lucky fun weekend that we're doing. It's our lucky, it's your lucky weekend. But you added something that, you know, brings out, I think, the heritage and the beauty of yesterday and then also like the modern feel of jewelry today on the side. We did. So again, to make it Irish, we added two Trinity knots, one on either side of the adventuring. And of course the Trinity knot is, is seen all over Ireland. It dates back, it's in the Book of Kells, it's in manuscripts and it's a real true symbol of Ireland. It has a religious, originally it was a religious meaning, mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, represented the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. But today we, like in Salva, like to call it the never-ending love knot. No beginning and no end, uh, intertwining 
on the, and we put a two, one on either side of the ring. And I mean, it's gorgeous on the hand. It's comfortable, it doesn't, it's beautifully weighted, so it's not going anywhere. Love it with Steven's bracelet that's coming up. But just a big update, in size 10 and 11, last call. So we started at five, we go to size 11, but 10 and 11 are about to go. Marcus, thank you Jane, for bringing this so beautiful much. ring in. Thank and you. by the way, there are a lot of amazing Solvar pieces at QBC.com. So go shop there. Exactly. Many pieces we never see on the air, a lot of 14 karat gold. And if you wonder if we had fun through the years, yeah, we did. Check this out. Thanks, Jane. Bye, bye. <laughs> Everybody said, what are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? I said, I'm going to turn into a leprechaun and spend the last three hours in style. What do you think? The Ireland of dreams, the Isle of destiny, the Isle of the sun, as it was called in ancient times, Hibernia, Air. The beautiful name of Ireland conjures up so many images. But before we go into that, I have to show everybody what an Irish traffic jam looks like. And that uh, Irish traffic jam, by the way, was from our very first trip, which happened in about less than a week. It was like, what are you doing this weekend? I said, skiing. They said, go to Ireland. And I'm like, okay. And we did. Uh, my 